Hey, welcome back. The topic we are going to discuss today is a widespread skin issue. Many of you or maybe someone from your family has been affected or has been affected with this skin condition. And most of the time we don't really bother going to the dermatologist or skin expert because this skin condition is generally harmless. So what are we talking about? We are talking about the skin condition called keratosis pilaris, which is also often called as a chicken skin or a strawberry skin because of its appearance. It's a common harmless skin condition that causes patches of keratotic mounds, which is rough, hard, sandpaper-like of a skin that is often noticed in the teenagers and also in the young adults, mainly on the areas of your upper arm, your thighs, uh, sometimes even on cheeks, buttocks, and even on your back. Keratosis pilaris or KP in short is cosmetically displeasing but medically it is harmless so in today's video we are going to discuss what it is what causes it and what can be done about it i mean what are the treatments as the name suggests keratosis comes from the word keratin which means dead skin cells and the word pilaris comes from the latin word pilus which means hair so when you combine the two words it starts the piling up of the dead cells on or around of the hair follicle they sometimes appear uh, red or brown in color and may also have some uh, swelling or a redness except for at times mild itching it doesn't spread but it's in symmetry if it's in one arm it will be in both arms not in one it will be on both the uh, thighs not in one well the actual cause of uh, keratosis pilaris is yet not known but it could be due to the genetic factor meaning your genes could impact the chances of developing this condition so in a way keratosis pilaris is an inherited skin condition which runs strongly in the family sometimes with a dry skin condition causing the abnormal buildup of dead cells around the hair follicle. Besides genetic conditions, it may also be experienced by the individuals who have excessive dry skin condition like eczema, contact dermatitis. So there's a very close association between eczema and keratosis pilaris. In fact, both the skin conditions kind of overlap in terms of its treatment. The only difference between the two is eczema is also accompanied with uh, the skin irritation whereas keratosis pilaris is generally not itchy but if you have itchiness along with keratosis pilaris it can be with due to any other conditions like your dry skin eczema psoriasis or uh, even an allergy or a fungal infection so before we go into the treatment it is very important for you to understand that there is yet no cure for keratosis pilaris but the treatment what we do is to minimize its appearance and to reduce the inflammation and the redness around it it typically doesn't need any kind of a treatment if it's not really bothering you because generally it goes as you age it disappears but if it's cosmetically bothering you then the treatment with moisturizers creams and gentle exfoliation and washes may help a little bit with your symptoms. Currently available treatment modalities for keratosis pilaris includes various uh, keratolytic ingredients, various lasers, and your topical systemic retinoids. Since it's a medically harmless skin condition and you want to get yourself treated just because of the cosmetic purpose, why do you really want to spend too much of money if you can go with over-the-counter keratolytic ingredients like your salicylic acids, AHAs, alpha hydroxy acids like your glycolic acid, lactic acid, endalic acid, and also urea. So in order to soften, to dissolve the keratinized dead cells, there are some keratolytic ingredients like your salicylic acid, which helps in lifting up the dead cells easily from around the hair follicle. And AHAs like your glycolic acid, lactic acid, and mandalic acid, these are also very good keratolytic ingredients. Lactic acid is fantastic for this type of a treatment because it not only lifts the dead skin cells but also moisturizes skin at the same time. Urea is a good moisturizer and if you use the higher percentage say above 10 percent it also works as a keratolytic agent. Some of the products which I am going to mention here CeraVe SA body lotion is a very good uh, product for keratosis pilaris. So along with salicylic acid, it also has some hydrating ingredients like hyaluronic acids and ceramides. 
And lactic body lotion has lactic acid, which helps in the exfoliation of the cell as well as it's very hydrating. So it's suitable for all skin types. Unlike your CeraVe essay, which has salicylic acid, so it may be a little irritating for some. So apart from these two, I also like Eucerin's uh, relief lotion, which has a shea butter in it and is very rich in fatty acids, antioxidants and vitamins. It also contains urea which also helps in breaking up the keratin as well as retaining the moisture of the skin. So these are some of the moisturizers which I have been talking about. Besides these, there are body washes like your KP Duty Kit which has two products in it. One is the exfoliator and the other one works like a moisturizer. So you have a combination of an exfoliator and a moisturizer which comes together uh, it's, so it's, you can think of a shampoo and a conditioner when you are using a shampoo you use the same conditioner so it's something like that you just can't go with one or the other product just by itself you can use loofah or a gentle brush while having your shower while having your bath but make sure not to scrub it too hard otherwise it can worsen your skin condition so these were some of over-the-counter products and if these are not helping you you can also try some of the medicated uh, products like your retinoids besides the product if keratosis pilaris is accompanied by redness or inflammation you can try going with lasers also most people find their keratosis pilaris uh, improving when they change the skincare routine to avoid dry skin because Keratosis pilaris is mainly seen, is mainly observed on a dry skin. So if you change a little bit of your skincare routine to avoid the skin dryness, you can also avoid keratosis pilaris. So just remember, keratosis pilaris is a temporary skin condition which goes over time. It usually doesn't cause any symptoms, but if it does, if you are feeling any kind of a discomfort like itchy or a dry skin you can reach out to your skin experts and uh, take their assistance in guiding you uh, for the right skincare products there are ways to treat your keratosis pilaris to minimize its appearance but remember there is no cure keratosis pilaris may come and go especially in with some winters when when you have a drying weather conditions it becomes you may see you may feel that your keratosis pilaris has become bad it has aggravated whereas in summers the condition has reduced or maybe it's not there at all it may just go by itself as you grow older so if you have liked my video please give a thumbs up and if you have any more queries or if you want me to talk on some topic do mention it in the comment section do like share and subscribe my channel and i'll see you with my next video till then bye bye